Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel where we tour the most exclusive homes in the Mediterranean. Today we are in the highest residential building in Spain, towering over the most privileged area in the Mediterranean, next to the famous Poniente Beach, where stands this remarkable architectural structure, where today we'll have a pleasure to tour its highest and most expensive penthouse. Once again, welcome to the Manhattan of Spain, and let's go and have a look inside. the tour from the exterior of the structure. I am currently standing in front of the famous In Tiempo, the most exclusive building in the whole of Costa Blanca, 200 meters tall and today we're going to be touring its highest and most expensive penthouse. The structure of this building is quite original as you can see it consists of these two parallel difficult word, parallel towers, which are connected at the top with this cone-like structure, which here they call the diamond. And why the diamond? Because between the floor 38 and 45, we have the diamond residences, which are the most exclusive apartments and penthouses of the whole residence. And today we're going to be exploring the 45th floor penthouse, which covers 360 degrees views. Super excited to show it to you guys, so let's go and step out into this gate which is your pedestrian entrance to the residence. As soon as you enter through the main gate, here you feel this large space. I mean, just look around. On my right hand side, you can see two entrances to the garages which lead you down to the floor minus two and minus three with garage spaces for all the residents of the building. Now, as we're walking forward over here, we can notice these beautiful architectural designs which starts to appear the further we go inside. First of all, voila, the main grand foyer. Check out this architectural masterpiece behind me. The design of this building was made by Perez Gueras Arquitectos, quite famous in Spain, and here is the result of that. And if you look up, this is where it gets pretty sick. Check this out. You see the clouds go by and it kind of makes you a little bit dizzy even because of the height of this building. I love this tree here in the middle and all the seating around it. I think it's super peaceful. There is not many people walking around here. Considering we are in Benidorm, which is a very lively nightlife town, here we are kind of separated from the rest of the Benidorm, even though we are just a few minutes away from the beach. Basically, the positioning of this building is 10 out of 10. Now, here we are in the Grand Foyer. We've just covered this area over here. Now let's step into this section on my right over here, where we have this super modern ground column with the lift, which can take us up all the way to the 46th floor. But before we go anywhere higher than this level, let's speak about this section over here where we have the concierge 24 seven. So any doubts or worries you have, you just follow this carpet over here to the concierge. A little bit about history of this building that I would like you to know, guys. The original design was introduced in 2006 and the construction started in 2007. They thought it would take only two years to construct this building. But then the global economic crisis hit the fan and of course the Spanish real estate sector as well, putting the Intempo on hold. Even though the global crisis, the Intempo did pretty well and it was nearly constructed in 2014. However, then the company went bankrupt, was constructing this building. Another one took over in 2019 and the building was finally constructed in 2021. So basically, a little story which goes from all the way of 2007 to 2021. The building was completed two years ago. Now let's step inside. 
And welcome to the main lobby of the building. Definitely feels like a five-star experience in here. First of all, on my right-hand side, floor-to-ceiling mirrors, and right above me, amazing light fixture, gorgeous design. And on the right over here, all these letter boxes. 256 apartments in all of this building. Feels a lot, right? But the penthouse we are touring is on the last floor and it's super private. Opposite over here, there's a little chilling area. Voila, check it out. Whilst you're waiting for your friends to come down, nice little area, very quiet, relaxing music. Maybe you can do some meditation whilst waiting. And now, let's step through this corridor and take a lift. And I have a special surprise for you in the lift. We are going to measure how long exactly it will take us to get to the floor number 45, because from what I heard, this is one of the fastest lifts in Europe. So let's wait for the lift. All right, we are lucky because the lift came empty. So now let's step inside. Dima, say hello, because probably- hey, Hello. And now, phone. All right. So now we're gonna put on a timer. Floor number 45, close. And again, one, two, let's go. Hopefully we're not gonna be interrupted by someone taking the lift on the other floor. This happened to me today. I had to try three times to take the lift the first time. Lucky, they say. I know how long it will take. It's like one floor per second. One floor per second, pretty much. Nearly. Voila. 43 seconds, 45 floors. That is less than one second a floor and welcome to the planta 45 floor 45 where we have this nice entrance with the led lights wrapping up around the walls and of course this lovely design over here with a mirror greeting you as soon as you exit from the lift with some flowers now let's step into our penthouse And welcome to the penthouse. Here we are entering firstly in this beautiful area, greeting us with the sitting space on my left over here, which is a very practical little space where you can do your shoes, hang your clothes, right? In opposite in the wardrobe over here. Now let's step further. Here we have floor to ceiling windows, L-shaped, first little corner terrace, which, going, which we're going to check out shortly. But now let's step into the living dining area. But this time, for a change, we are going to explore the bedrooms first and leave the best for the last. So let's go and check out the first bedroom. Let's step into the first main master bedroom of the house. Firstly, on my right, we have the walk-in wardrobe, LED light strips on the bottom and on the top, plenty of built-ins, I love it. More storage and mirrors as we go along. Voila, Tima, well hidden. <laughs> We've got speakers built in throughout the whole of the penthouse so we can create a really nice vibe. And now the master bedroom. An interesting concept we've got here, why? What do you think about this style, guys? You are completely visible to the rest of the bedroom, but oh well, some people like that style, I guess. A very interesting color as well, the copper here, kind of blending in with the colors which we have in this bedroom. What do you think about this shower, guys? Would you like to have a shower of this design in your bedroom? You can see all the bush campana from here in the mountains. Definitely an interesting and unique design 
and I think it's a pleasure to shower with the views of the bush campana and the sunset. Now Dima, please, can you step inside and let's show everybody the toilet because it's also quite unique. I really like the combination of the gold and beige in this bathroom. And actually, oh, oh wow. Well, here we have a toilet which is not very simple, Nashi, so you can control the temperature and it automatically opens. So the whole of this bathroom will provide you a very nice and unique experience. I really like this mirror, mirror on the wall over here as well. A nice vanity unit over here and we are just a few steps away from your main king size bed. I love this backsplash over here, very soft floor to ceiling, behind the bed, the light fixtures. From next to your bed, you can also control the TV. You can just click this one button, which will control the TV, close it off, open up, simple and convenient. Now let's step into the balcony, which has views of the Bush Campana, the most famous mountain and the highest mountain in the area. We are going to step out as soon as I figure out how to do this. All right, voila. All right, so this view, this side of the penthouse is for mountain lovers. Are you a sea lover or a mountain lover? Personally, I am a mountain lover and I love mountains, so I love the fact that the bedrooms are positioned towards the mountains and to the sunset side. From here around eight o'clock, we'll have a really nice sunset and I hope to see it today. I hope it's not gonna be cloudy. Here we can also see in the Bush Campana, we've got this curve which is missing a piece of the mountain. And there is a legend that goes that this piece of the mountain was kicked by a monster into the sea and that is the little rock of Benidorm, which we're going to see from the other side. And yeah, that's the legend, that's how the legend goes and you can actually see it it looks like it really has been cut out from the mountain. So that's a little bit about the Bush Campana. Now let's look to the other side over here. Even from here we can see the sea views and we can see the rock of Calpe. That's how high we are. All the way to Calpe, all the way to Alicante from the other side. You're basically on top of everything. Also now let's look down and 45 floors down. 180 meters down we have the common swimming pool area this whole building has 6,000 over 6,000 meters of common areas so plenty of space to enjoy your life in this building on the floor 46 and 47 the only two floors that are above us we have some special facilities which I'm going to show you further during the tour but before let's step into the second bedroom through the balcony they're both connected with this balcony and let's close it off because the flow of the wind is quite strong now here another interesting designer bedroom let's start from the nice backsplash we've got on the wall over here transitioning from the wallpaper into this soft Dima please come closer so we can show this material that has been used in the back of the bed nice and soft, very cozy. The two light fixtures we've got on both of the sides of the bed, which do add up to the style. We've got the air condition throughout, of course. We've got the laminate flooring in the bedrooms, which are contrasting with the flooring in the living areas. And now another interesting design of a bathroom. A zoom in mirror over here, nice for makeup. And then, Dima, if you go from the other side, we'll be able to show everyone the interesting design of the shower again. This penthouse is all about views even from all of the showers in your house. You have the views to the mountains and yeah, you need to notice that you're on the 45th floor. And voila, let's step into the third bedroom of the penthouse. Here on my right, another beautiful walk-in wardrobe. L-shaped, all LED light strips, plenty of space. And here, the mirror, which runs around all of this wall, nearly floor to ceiling. So for mirror lovers, for ladies, this is definitely a nice space. 
Here we have an open design concept of the S-Week bathroom and of course, again, no doors. We are just all connected, right? Why would you have doors? So this bathroom is very nicely connected to this bedroom. Lovely light fixtures on both of the sides, the double bed in the middle, the nice bluey colors, and even the back of the bed, the backsplash of the bed, lovely contrast with this paneling over here. What do you think? I actually think this is my favorite bedroom. Super bright, super modern, open concept with the mirrors on the left and the shower, which is overlooking the views. You have your balcony over here. This is, yeah, this is my, definitely my favorite bedroom. Now let's step back into the living area and show you all the living dining space. Let's continue the tour with the living dining area. Look at the size of this space. Here we are in the first section, your official family area, your living zone. Gorgeous light fixtures right above, beautiful beige carpet and the beige color furniture. I love this style. We've got handmade pieces in this house. For example, this lamp, which was custom made especially for this penthouse by a Portuguese artist, just as the two paintings on the other side. But what's most exciting is of course the views. Let's step to the first little, well, not so little, to the first corner terrace. As always, I'm having trouble opening these windows, but they are super thick. Of course, no wind will pass through, no sound. Now, from here, we can see the famous Poniente Beach. It's one of the most well-known beaches here in the area, in the whole of Costa Blanca. And of course, we've got the views of the whole of Benidorm and all the skyscrapers. Benidorm is basically known as a Manhattan of Spain because it has the highest density of skyscrapers in Spain. So driving past on the motorway, all you see is the skyscrapers and especially in the night, it looks incredible. Now also on my left over here, we have the little island of Benidorm, which we spoke about on the other side when we were in the bedrooms, that the legend goes that it was kicked from the mountain on the other side and landed in the sea over there. You can get there by a ferry and it's pretty touristy, I'm gonna tell you that, especially in the summer. Talking about summer and about Benidorm, which is where we are. Benidorm is basically one of the most famous tourist destinations in Spain and especially amongst English people, Polish as well. But until the 1960s, it was actually just a fishing village. So in the last 50, 60 years, it has developed to be one of the most famous Spanish tourist destination known for its nightlife. There is even a series in England called Benidorm. But now let's step further into this dining zone over here. We have a lovely glass table with the seating for six, for seven, excuse me. And of course, facing the open sea views and the balcony, which we're going to see very soon. Now let's step into the second zone, which is another little chilling zone, which you can customize all the space as you want. For now, we have the nice light fixture above, a table and just a sitting zone. And right opposite, we have the L-shaped kitchen, which is just temporary. So this time we are not going to tour the kitchen, but let's step into this L-shaped corner chilling zone, the last family area. From here, you can enjoy the views of the Mediterranean Sea, another balcony, which makes this whole floor round. So we've got 360 degrees views. Now we'll step into the main balcony and see all the views. But before we do, let's mention some specs about this house. The internal build of this penthouse is 600 square meters, featuring eight bedrooms and six bathrooms. And it's currently for sale for 5 million euros. Now let's continue the tour and step into the outside space. And here is your outside space. The first thing when you open the doors is what hits you is the breeze, the blow of the wind. Of course, when you are so high, you've got all the fresh air. So now, voila, 
the beautiful terrace, the amazing terrace with all the views of the Benidorm, all the skyscrapers on the left, on the right, the mountains. You've got everything here. And it really does feel like you are above everything else. Just feels really peaceful being here. From here you can see the Levante and the Poniente beach, all the tourists. Now we have September. Look at the water, how clear it is. On my left side you can see the cruise of Benidorm, which is the most famous viewpoint known for the views that it offers. And actually we toured the house over there a few months ago and um, I'm gonna put that in the description below in case you want to check it out. It was four and a half million and the views we saw were wow and we actually saw this building standing like right above all the others. Yeah, it was very nice. Being here, I don't know, there's just something about it that makes you feel really calm. Like you just watch the life pass by down there and over here you have your own vibe and you can make it anything you want and just be completely separated from the rest. Now look at the beach. We have the Levante and the Poniente beach. It's September now, the water is clear, people are swimming, boats are passing by. I mean, why wouldn't you live in Spain? Where do you live? Where do you live, Dima? In Spain. In Spain. I live in Spain. There is a reason for it. Now check out the size of this terrace. Of course, you'll be able to see in the drone shot how it rounds up and puts us in this top of the diamond. We are literally two floors below the last floor where we've got the swimming pool, the jacuzzi area on the 47th floor and on the 46th floor we've got the bar, the restaurant and the gym. So in case you want to train, just go one floor up and that's it. Very close by, easy. Now another little zone over here. This zone I call a morning meditation because first of all we have only one chair. Second of all, I am facing the sunrise. So in the morning when you wake up, nowadays we have the sunrise around 7.30, you wake up, just sit over here with your cup of coffee or a cup of tea and watch the sunrise. So this zone I really like and of course with all the wind, perfect weather in September, who wouldn't want to live in this house? Also, an interesting fact about Benidorm, normally its population is around 80, 90,000, but in summer it goes by times 10 or 12, rising to nearly 1 million residents. That makes Benidorm one of the most sought after destinations in Spain. Voila! And with all that said, I'm going to love you and leave you, as they say, and we're going to finish up the tour for today. As always, you'll find more information down in the description below and I will see you in the next upcoming videos. Until then, let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this video. Smash that like button if you enjoyed and of course, don't forget to subscribe to see our upcoming tours. For now, take care and see you soon guys.